you ever wonder what memory versus storage was? Contrary to popular belief, memory is not equal to storage. Here's an example. Let's say you work for a very demanding king. This king's name is Curtis Paul Ulysses, or King CPU for short. This king wants you to go to a faraway land and collect some information for him. So you go. You arrive at the faraway land and you ask for information. To your dismay, the information given is much more than you can possibly remember. But you have an idea. You decide that if you can take a portion of that information and keep it on your mind, you can go back and tell your king. Maybe you can't tell him everything, but you can tell him the most relevant information relating to what he wanted to know. You arrive back to the king's CPU, and you tell him the information that you have, excited to know that what you found is relevant to what he was asking. Unfortunately, King CPU is also a slave driver, so he sends you back to get more. I use this story to demonstrate the difference between storage and memory. The faraway land acts as the hard drive or storage. That's where the majority of the information is kept and stored. While it's great to be able to have a lot of information, it's hard to actually use that or keep it on your mind at one time. That's where you come in. You're the memory, or RAM, which stands for readily accessed memory. While you can't keep a lot of information on your mind at one time, you're able to get the most relevant information so King's CPU can use it whenever he needs it. Storage, or hard drive space, usually comes in this form. When you think of hard drive space, think of a library. Think of a big shelf with a lot of books. However, if you want to find specific information, this is very slow. This is a stick of RAM and how memory usually comes. Think of RAM as something that's on the front of your brain, something you're thinking about right now. You can think about that thing very quickly and it's very relevant to you, but it's a relatively small amount of information. You can't think of a lot of things at one time. Hope this clarifies the difference between storage and memory for you. If you would like to learn more about the different types of RAM and storage, please stay tuned as I'll be coming out with videos on those topics shortly. Thanks for watching a Make It Today educational video.